So you picked it up in Dallas? I think it was stolen in Dallas and it was recovered in Dallas. I'm just curious why we didn't go to the dealership in Dallas? Because I wanted to come to this one. It doesn't matter if I go to this one or go to the one in Dallas. I don't curious. think that's a question I, that should even be being asked. You live in Illinois? It doesn't matter where I live. What difference does it make? I'm here to get service for a truck. Does that, that matter? Absolutely. That, that's true. I'm just asking questions. And I ask you what is, a little un, un I ask what usual. does that what does that have to do with why I'm going there right. and why I'm coming here? Because it seems unusual that you would pick it up in Dallas, uh -huh. where there's multiple dealerships all around, and then you didn't choose any of those. You didn't choose any on the way to here. What's unusual about that? Chevy is worldwide. Absolutely. Have you ever been to this dealer before? I have. You have? Several times. When? You got a system. What's unusual about it? You yeah. won't tell me that. Someone that has a stolen vehicle, uh -huh. it takes it to a different place uh, from where they covered it or where they live. So, because I'm coming to you trying to give you my money is unusual. Right. And you want to know why I'm not going there and why am I coming to you? Right. You don't like money? It's not about money. It's definitely yeah. about the money. No. I'm not here to tell you my life story. I'm here to give you money to service my truck. Right. You enter my life story and I don't understand right. it. I'm yeah, just so telling you the situation. And the only reason I right. told you that so, so you can know where to start on my truck at. Okay. I didn't tell you that to come here and give you my life story. Okay. Okay. I'm legal, my truck is legit, okay. my money is okay, is your I'm in your system. I done been into your shop right. three to four to five times because I go to California, okay. dealership, okay. Chicago, right. Joliet, Kankakee, Atlanta, Georgia, okay. Dallas, Texas, didn't say it was wrong. Memphis, Tennessee, and no one question. have ever asked me what you asking me and right. size me up because what you're doing is sizing me up. No, sir. Yes, you are. Yay, yay, it's your boy Sugar Man on that. Another video, another day in a life with your boy Sugar Man on that. You heard I me? Mean, you are now tapped into your boy Sugar Man on that on the channel with me, your boy. You know the vibes, man. It's still fourth quarter pressure. We got Big Pern back. We up in Big Pern right now. Speaking of Big Pern, man, they didn't got your boy. Yes, sir. But we back up in Big Pern, man. And uh, we uh, we actually on our way to the dealership, man. We're going to the Chevy dealer because we got to get the dually diagnosis. They didn't took my truck. I got to make sure they check my truck for any bugs, devices. Uh, on top of that, um, they mess with my system, my GPS tracking system. They try to take the GPS tracking system off the truck. And... Uh, some more, a whole bunch of weird stuff, man. So I'm finna take it back to the dealership. I hate to even go see the dealer, dog. I swear to God, because I know what they be on, bro. The dealer don't play with you. But one thing about the dealer, they ain't gonna play with you. They ain't finna play with you. They ain't gonna play with you. Neither of the two. So you ain't gotta worry about them on no garbage, bro. Like a lot of these shops like to play little goofy games, bro. You ain't gotta worry about the dealership on that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, with that being said, uh, we uh, I know they was messing with my GPS when they took my truck. So, oh, that's my mama right here. Hey, mom. Hey, Freddie. Hey, yeah. Good morning. How are you? Good, good morning, son. How are you? Oh, I just got a phone with the detective about my truck. Um, uh, that, that that found my truck or whatever. Um, I just got the phone with them. They were just trying to tell me that, um. I was just asking them what's up with the report. You know what I'm saying? They trying to tell me when they found my truck, the window was back window was shattered. That's not true. The back window wasn't shattered. So I'm trying to figure out why, what's the lying about on the on the like what's the lying about on the on the on the, on the report? Like you know what I'm saying? Did y'all take my dirt bike? 
that's why I needed that. The VN, so I called to get a lady to VN for the dirt bike. And she's like, oh, okay. But I'm like, I just, I'm driving. I'm gonna just email you a picture of the title my mom sent me or whatever. And she's like, okay, cool. Well, can you send a whole picture of the title? Cause sometimes I said, listen, you didn't ask for no, no picture or no title at first. I'm only sending you that cause I'm driving. That don't got nothing to do with it. Well, by it not being in your name, it don't matter if it ain't in my name or not. Put my VN in the, in the, in the thing. What are you talking about? You asked for a VIN number. Stop. Okay, I'm going to just put it in. I know you're going to put it in. Stop playing with me. I said, now y'all sitting there lying, talking about some. my back window was shattered when y'all found it, and, you, and, and the police was on a routine stop. No, they y'all wasn't. OnStar told them where my truck was, and that's how they went and found it. Y'all ain't went and found nothing on a routine traffic stop. And on top of that, my y'all talking about my back window was shattered when my back window wasn't shattered. Then when I called a report, my truck store, they talk about what no units available. It's a lot of stuff. Like, I don't trust them Dallas police, mama. Well, you better not. I don't trust the police. Bro. Everybody stuff, talking I about the police day. protect and serve. As far as I know, that's why they like me. Your dirt bike is not considered stolen right now because you don't have the VIN number. So if who's to say if y'all found my truck with the dirt bike in it, that, you know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't take the dirt bike. Like, it, it ain't stolen. You know what I'm saying? It just, right. I don't trust the police, man. I don't trust them, but yeah, when you get a chance, send me the, when you get back home today, send me a picture of the whole title. Okay. Okay, I will. And, uh. Hold on. I'm listening. How your day going, though? Uh, it's going. What's it's wrong? It's Monday here at work. Oh, Nothing. Okay. It's just Monday here at work. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what's going on with me this morning. Then I'm going to the dealership right now because I'm finna to, um. Uh, let them put my GPS tracking system back on my truck. I guess they disarmed it or whatever. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to see. Did I take off? Oh, I just... Hold on, man. Let me see who this call is. Hold on, hold on. This the front. I'm going to do the front. I'm going to get a front end alignment. I want to do that. And I want to get two tires for the front. I want to see what tires y'all got in stock. So y'all see, man, we are at the dealership. I'm vlogging. That's my YouTube. Never mind me. I'm vlogging. It's my YouTube. So, yeah. so you guys, uh, we back at the dealer. We got to get the GPS system reserviced, the tracking system reserviced for the OnStar. And y'all already know I never got two tires for the front. So we're going to actually get two tires for the front. And we're going to actually get um, two tires for the front. And we're going to actually get the wheel alignment today, too. So we are knocking stuff down. And hey, uh, one more thing, love. I need you to price me a windshield. My windshield cracked on the front of my truck. Price me a windshield. And uh, whatever tires that y'all have in stock, I know y'all probably got more than one brand. Give me each brand. Price. Wheel alignment price. GPS. Windshield. Also, my sunroof is off track. Price me that. So I know they finna try to knock me over the head today, but like I say, we gotta be done and uh, we gotta get it done. So we going forward, man. We almost into starting this new business with this dually. Um, you guys, um, this is what it costs to be, this is what it takes to be successful. You gonna go through things, but do they not stop with my plan, dog? That's right, I got the truck back. We get ready to start this high shot business coming soon. We should got Big Perm back on the scene. Big Perm was hit. As y'all know, I was in the uh, nightclub one time. And um, we was getting some drinks. Guy had a seizure. Once again, something that you can't control. Just happened to come in the parking lot and boom, by the bam. You know what I'm saying? Am I on your way? Yeah, so, so as y'all know, of course, like I say, uh, you know, we starting this business. We're going we gonna to do this business by any means necessary. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm at the dealership, of course. Now we got running to some more crooks because at the end of the day, they're going to charge you to find out what's wrong. And then they ain't going to want to, um, they going to charge you for that. They don't want to charge you for most stuff. And at the end of the day, I know what's wrong with my truck. I don't need to. I, my GPS tracking system is not on there. So they talking about $200 for that. And then that do not go toward the work. Uh, you not know. You're not going to charge me $200 or something I know that's already wrong with my truck. The GPS tracking system is not on there. So at the end of the day, you know, I need y'all to fix that. Yeah, but yeah, like I say, they trying to be crooks too. Everybody want to be a crook nowadays. It's like, bro, you. it's like the world is, when you when people think you got a little money, 
when you pulling up in a machine that's a hundred or better, you know what I'm saying? Or anything that look like some money. Let me just not even say my machine. You have a nice pair of tennis shoes on or a nice necklace on. People like, like it just goes back to like when people spotted my truck with a bird box, you know what I mean? It's just like people be on that. So it's kind of the same thing uh, with the dealership. They trying to get me out of two, three hundred. Don't add up, bro. I don't got no extra money for nothing. Nothing. Truck, pound, dirt bike, loss of wages that was in there. Items they took out of my truck, tow truck, fee, you know what I'm saying? New ties. Like, come on, bro. CDL, bills. Like, come on, bro. Like, I don't got, I'm standing on all business. I don't got no money, no extra, nothing for nobody. I'm sorry, sir. And please, I appreciate that people quit trying it. But this is life. People will never stop trying to get over on you. So on your way to the top, it'd be the hardest. Then when you get to the top, it'd be even worse because when you're at the top, you can't do nothing but go down, bro. Well, you can go up, but it's, it's easier to go down than it is to go further. Like, everybody at the bottom reaching for you. You got people, like I say, you go to the dealership trying to get your truck fixed. Now what they own? Well, well, we can do this, but we can't do that. But, you know, we have to charge. You don't have to charge me to tell me something I already know wrong with my truck. At the end of the day, y'all do what I tell y'all to fix, not what you feel like doing, bro. If I say my truck need a wheel long and I'm paying for that, that's what you put on my truck, bro. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, that's more what it is. You know what I'm saying? So I'm waiting on them to come out right now. I just ask for a manager because at the end of the day, I know what's wrong with my truck. And at the other dealership, they told me when I diagnose something, Whatever the diagnosis costs, if I get it fixed with them, they take that off of that. So, no, nah, you're not going to get me. Dude, send me somebody. And then, I always be the people that you're talking to at the desk. Hey, I don't want to talk to you. I don't know nothing about nothing. Send me to the people who work on my vehicle. That's what you do. So, but uh, we back, man. We at the dealer with me, Big Pine. Going to get this old wheel alignment. Trying to get us two of them good ties on the front. Y'all time out. After that, we're gonna get a gonna get the GPS, my sunroof acting crazy. And then the windshield just cracked, bro. It's just like, oh my god, bro, it just don't stop. It does not stop, bro. The windshield cracks out the blue. Chips and then the splits. You know what I'm saying? So all of them jerks took my tools, bro. Niggas took my tools, bro. You niggas different, bro. Yeah, different. Y'all come out here and took my tools. You know what I'm saying? Now I got to go buy another case of tools, sockets and stuff. But yeah, I don't trust the police, man. On the police report, they telling me when I they found my truck on a routine traffic route. But y'all ain't found nothing. GPS tracking found my truck. And they told y'all. And they told me because they couldn't tell. They couldn't tell me. And they had to tell y'all. On Star, that's what On Star told me. They couldn't tell me. They had to tell y'all. So that's a lie on the police report. Then on the police report, they say my back window was shattered when I got my truck. My back window was not shattered when they got my truck. That's another lie. My back window was not shattered. That's a whole nother lie. Which now makes me believe, and I can report my dirt bike stolen over the weekend because I don't have a VIN number. Which, if you find a truck, let's just say the dirt bike was still on there. The police, man, this ain't stolen. I'm gonna take this with me. Like, come on, bro, you think I trust the police? I do not. I don't trust the police. Y'all already have lied twice. First time I called y'all to report my truck stolen, y'all tell me it wasn't no units available to assist me with a theft. This is what they told me on it. I looked at my phone on the 911 like, I know you capping. I'm looking at the phone. Like, is this 911 I'm talking? I looked twice for my third time. Sorry, sir. We can't help you. There ain't no units to assist. I just told you they just broke in my car. They riding down the street in it. What's to tell you? If I get to find this stick off at them, then what? Oh, that's different. How is that different? I'm telling you I'm being carjacked. What's to you? Now I got to look into that. That's crazy. It's crazy, bro. A lot of cap, bro. 
a lot of caperoni going on with that. You understand me? You feel me? So it's like, then I'm telling them, my, my, I see my truck on my GPS. Orange start like, oh, sorry, sir, I can't tell you no information unless the police there. Do I pay y'all or do the police pay y'all? So I'm paying y'all to keep me out the loop, huh? Man, that's crazy. So Orange started telling me they got my truck, they got all my locations, but they can't help me. That's different, bro. That's over different, bro. That's over different. Then the police and all start working together, keeping me out the loop, and I'm the one paying the money. That's too different. So now, now, you know, I'm looking at stuff way different, bro. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's the life of having something, man. Make sure your thing's got insurance on it in life. As I said before, try to stay out of places, which is hard. Like, I try to stay away from clubs that I know they be on there that. As you see, you got, but you got nice stuff, you got valuable stuff, you got a lot to lose. You gotta move different. You gotta move different, bro. It don't even make sense not to. Okay, I'm waiting because there ain't no way I'm finna pay for for a diagnostic seat and I already know what's going on. That's throwing away money, love. I don't, I don't know too many people got it like that, but I don't. Never. So, took all my insurance cards, my papers, my registration. I ain't took all this. It's just rough, bro. It's just, it's, you know, it's, it's, honestly, man, nigga always said he wanted money, right? Like everybody want money. Everybody want a million dollars. Everybody want two million dollars. Everybody be want to be rich. I'm not saying I'm rich, but I'm having a little motion, just a little bit. Are you ready for the stuff that come with it? It ain't just about getting money. I got niggas want to hate on me. You know, niggas mad you don't want to kick it with them. You know, it just come with a lot of stuff getting money. Niggas mad you don't want to give them nothing free. Every time you get something nice, like honestly, be real. Do you want something slick to ride in or do you want to ride something basic? So when I ask you that, it goes back to let's be real with the situation. Um, I'm going to ride something nice, but come riding something nice Nah, niggas want to take something. Niggas want to break in the car. Niggas this, niggas that. Like, they just come with it, dog. They come with the game. No, it come with the game, Jack. And the whole situation. So, I mean, hey, you got to pick your poison, man, you know? And like I say, I ain't complaining. I just hope I get this message out there to a lot of people out there who either want to start businesses and grow up and glow up and just move different dog and be prepared for whatever come and wow you got overspray on my thing be prepared for whatever come and you know stay solid and stay prayed up dog because at the end of the day I don't care how much you try to be safe I don't care how much you do the right thing you just never know bro like, you know you just never know dog Like I'm saying to y'all, definitely stay prayed up. Definitely stay prayed up, Jack. You know. Um, hit like and subscribe to my channel, man. I'm going to wait on this guy to come out here and tell me what we're going to do about my truck because they ain't going to charge me no extra $200 or something I already know. At the end of the day, I'm missing a few fuses. They took the GPS tracker system. And whatever they did, they did that in 10 minutes. So if they can take that off in 10 minutes, you ain't finna tell me how long it's gonna take you to put it back on there. That what we ain't finna do. Nah, I don't care where I'm at. Dealership or not, you know what I'm saying? Once again, we dealing with some more robberies. Robbers. Dealership to robbers, bro. Think because they see you, because they Chevy, they do right now. You got a bag. You here for us because you don't know what's going on. You need us. 
and we finna stick it in you, and you ain't gonna tell me what you need because you here asking me. No, I know exactly what I need, you nigga. And you gonna give me a price on what you charge to do it because you ain't the only one who do it. I can go over here. You ain't finna play with me like that, boy. Like that. People think, then people always, people always use this. Well, you got money. Okay, let's just say I did have money. I'm trying to keep it, not give it to you all like that. You feel me? No, sir. No, sir. You feel me? So that's another part of the situation. Boss man, what's going on? How you doing? How you doing? What can I do for you? you, uh, Jubal? How you say that? Jubal. Jubal. Sorry, yes, I mispronounced your name. I'm Bobby. I wanted to get a price on a set of tires, a wheel alignment. Okay. Um, I wanted to get a price on the windshield. I want to get a price on my sunroof. It's uh, off track a little bit. Also, um, I wanted to, um, my truck was stolen over the weekend. Okay. I just recovered it back. And I have no GPS on it with that. So they just able to on stop. Okay. They took the device off the tool. And I know one of the devices is the one inside of the council. It's like a chip that you press in. Oh, the, the SD card? I know I'm missing that. Okay. So I know y'all offer those, right? Mm -hmm. I know I'm going to need to buy that. And I'm missing a few fuses from this side to that side. I'm going to buy some fuses from you and they get the OnStar put back in. Okay. She was telling me that they needed a 169 diagnostic. But the thing with that is, what am I paying for a diagnostic for? And I already know what I need. What's wrong with the They took it off. What they take off? They took the device off, the one part of it. Because when the police retrieved the truck, well, they, they want to retrieve the device, they just won't give it to me. They took the device off the truck and they, they, threw, it, they, they threw it off. They just won't give me the device because it's under investigation. But, but we're not gonna be able to do anything here. It's under the device, they have the device. They don't give me that back. Right. Where was this? Where did this take place? This took place in Dallas. Dallas. Do you live in Dallas? No, I don't. Okay. I retrieved my truck back. Right. The All Stars in my name. Okay. So, so you have an All Star subscription? I do. Okay. But my truck came from Chevy, it didn't come from All Star. So everything that came on the truck came from Chevy. And y'all have a um, contract with All Star. Because I go to them for service, which I got through, through Chevy when I got the truck. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to get my GPS hooked back up. That's basically what I'm saying. Right. right. And if they've cut something off, we're gonna have there's gonna be some diagnostics involved to know what's been cut, what's needed, those kind of things. So you're looking at a minimum of 168. So as I asked her, when I went to the other dealership, does my diagnostic go in with, with fixing what's going on? Because usually when I get some diagnostic at the dealership. As long as I get it fixed through y'all, it goes to it goes to the job. At the last well, dealership, if I, were to, if I were to give you a total price for the job, you would include diagnostics. Yes. That's what I'm asking. But you're not going to pay the 168 and then not owe anything else. No, that's not how that works. So, 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 what I'm asking you, mm -hmm. maybe you misheard me. Okay. If I get my truck diagnosed through you and you tell me what's going on, right. as long as I fix it through you, uh -huh. the 168 can go toward my bill. It will be part of your bill, yes. Part of it, or would it go toward? It would. It would. It will go toward the deal. I'm not gonna. We're not gonna discount the 168 just because you fix it. No, that is a, that is a, a fee that is involved in the process. Right. That you have to pay. Technicians take their time, their knowledge. They find what's wrong with it. You pay the 168. It's part of the bill. It does not go away. So basically, right? Basically, so you basically saying you don't add that in. Basically, if I get it fixed for you, it don't it don't go away. It's not going away. Right. So basically, well, so it it don't matter. Basically, uh, the, the diagnostic gets paid regardless. It could be there. Yes. Absolutely. 
that the other uh, the Chevy I go to in Memphis when they say do I do diagnostic for 160 and my bill come out? It, it, different people can do different things. That's just ours. Okay. That's what I was asking. Yeah. To know if I want people to get a picture of the So you picked it up in Dallas? I picked it. was stolen in Dallas and it was recovered in Dallas. Okay. And just curious why we didn't go to the dealership in Dallas? Because I wanted to come to this one. Does it matter if I go to this one or go to the one in Dallas? I don't think that's a question I, that should even be being asked. You live in Illinois? It doesn't matter where I live. What difference does it make? I'm here to get service for a truck. What does that matter? Absolutely, that, that's true. What does that matter? I'm just asking questions. And I ask you what is, a little un, un I ask what usual. does that what does that have to do with why I'm going there right. and why I'm coming here? Because it seems unusual that you would pick it up in Dallas uh -huh. where there's multiple dealerships all around and then you didn't choose any of those. You didn't choose any on the way to here. What's unusual about that? Chevy is worldwide. Absolutely. What's unusual about it? Have you ever been to this dealer before? I have. You have? Several times. When? You got a system. Okay. I'm coming to you. This truck? This truck. Okay. I have a system. But I asked you a question. I'm asking yeah. you or you answer mine. Yeah. What's unusual about coming to your dealership to get something fixed on the truck? Chevy is Chevy. Absolutely. And when I bought a Chevy, your, 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 your hat got Chevy on it. Right. Your, your, so your shirt got Chevy on it. Let's backtrack just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Things that you're needing done. You right. say it was stolen. What? Right. Where was it stolen? It was stolen in Dallas. In Dallas. Yeah. Okay. So you live in Dallas? Uh, once again, what does that matter? I'm, I'm asking a real logical question that you won't answer back, and I'm trying right. to figure out I understand. why are you asking these questions? It's just, it's, it's just unusual. What's unusual about it? You yeah. won't tell me that. Someone that has a stolen vehicle, uh -huh. uh, it takes it to a different place. Uh, from where they covered it or where they live. That's just unusual. That's unusual. I just don't understand what's unusual about it. So, because I'm coming to you trying to give you my money, it's unusual. Right. And you want to know why I'm not going there and why am I coming to you? Right. I don't understand that. You don't like money? It's not about money. It's definitely about the money. I'm not here to tell you my life story. I'm here to give you money to service my truck. You into my life story, and I don't understand it. I'm just telling you the situation. And the only reason I told you that, so so you can know where to start on my truck at. I didn't tell you that to come here to give you my life story. I'm legal. My truck is legit. My money is okay. I'm in your system. I have been into your shop three to four to five times, and I just don't understand why. It matters if I come to your dealership. Are you the manager? Yes, sir. You, you the manager over this plant? Over the service department, yes. You the manager over the service department. Yes, and I just don't understand why it matters if I'm coming here or I'm going there. It just I don't understand why that's unusual. And I could be tripping, but I don't think I'm, I'm I don't think I'm tripping cuz I go to California yes, dealership, okay. Chicago, right. Joliet, Tank and Keep. Atlanta, Georgia, okay. Dallas, Texas, Memphis, Tennessee, and no one question. have ever asked me what you asking me and right. size me up because what you're doing is sizing me up. No, sir. Yes, you are. Just you're curious, trying to see, figure out. I see Illinois plates. Yeah. So you picked it up in Dallas and but yet you're in Paris. That's sizing that's, me up. That's why I'm there. You do every. Do you do everybody like that? When somebody come to your shop and they say, "Can I get an oil change?" Do you look at their ID and you tell them, hey, you from Atlanta, Georgia. Why you didn't get a service in Atlanta? Do you ask everybody that? Are you here for an oil change? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm here because the anti-theft system was taken off of my truck. Right. And you said. And anytime we have those issues yeah. where something like that's happened, we're going to ask some questions. Right. GM's going to demand us to ask questions. They're right. going to demand us to get proof of ownership, all those things before we do anything. But you're not asking that, though. Haven't yet. Right. You you asked something totally different. You said that I was unusual. Now if you said that I was didn't protocol, tell you, were unusual. you said it was unusual. Okay. Which makes me feel offended at this point. I didn't mean to offend you. I feel name, offended. Like? I'm Bobby. You didn't ask me none of that at the beginning. Yeah, I'm, sorry. I'm Bobby. I feel offended. I've been a victim already and I'm feeling victim again. Right. I just had my hundred and five thousand dollar truck stolen right. and you sizing me up as if I'm bringing a stolen truck to your business. I feel offended. I do. Well, I I've apologize. been victim of the whole weekend. I've had my dirt bike stolen. 
I've had a lot of money stolen out of my truck. Right. Right? Right. I got my truck back by the grace of God. Right. And now I come to your dealership and I got to go through this. Right. I've had a long weekend. And I don't, again, if it's a weekend, I don't understand why you left Dallas and you drove 120 miles to come here. If you're already there, you can pick up the truck. It just doesn't make sense. Right. Well, only thing that makes but, sense to me, only thing that makes sense, right? Yeah. For you to either yeah. tell me that you want to assist me, or maybe right. you don't want nothing to do with me. Right. That's how I'm going to feel. Well, anytime some red flags get raised right. when someone brings a, a stolen truck. Right. right. Well, this truck so is not have, stolen, because well, you have not ran the VIN yet. You said it was, you said it was. It was stolen, from and it was recovered. You. Right. And which is why I'm here. And right. you just don't understand why I'm here, which I don't think that really matters. Only thing that matters is if you either take my truck in, run it, make sure it's not stolen, make sure I am the owner of my vehicle, and that you can help me or you can help me. Then you ask those questions. Right. But you didn't do that. You, I think you did that kind of backwards. Okay. You well, want to know why I'm not there. And if, you know. if, if my service is not welcome here, then you should say that. Right. Because once again, I'm feeling victimized. Right. Once again. But right. you don't think I can afford this? That's what it sounds it like. No, it has zero to do with whether I think you can afford anything. That's, that's, I don't make those judgments. Right. So why don't you just take my truck in and say, hey, do you want to get a diagnosis here? And then run all your tests. Why you didn't right. do that? You say, I look at your plates, it was stolen here, it was here and it was this and that. It sounds like you're trying to be in my life and who I am. Well. I'm not into your life. I apologize for the sound. Cause, cause yeah. it, you would, you would look different if I say, "Hey, man, where you from? What's your yeah. license say? What's your place say? Well, How my, would you feel?" My place says Texas. Okay. And what if I would decide to go deeper in your business? Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not bringing a truck. Because, in. because this is my thing, right? Yeah. If you have a dealership, right, right. and you're the manager of this plant, right. and it requires to know all of these things, right? Yeah. After that going on, yeah. you can find that out through running my tag. Right. You don't have to ask me that. Right. And that's not something that you usually ask the customer. If that's protocol, which I don't think it is, but when it comes to anti-theft or whatever the case may be that you're telling me, mm -hmm. you run the VIN, you don't ask me. I'm going to run the VIN, I'm going to get your uh, because I could, license, I'm going to Because you know what? Title, I could, I could tell you, those things. I could yes. tell you all of that out here, and guess what? Everybody else out here will be hearing my information. Right. And that's why I know that it's not protocol for you to ask me that. Because right. all of that this well, happened is confidential information. Here's the deal. We, we didn't talk so loudly. Right. We could probably but you didn't address me in your office. Without. You addressed me here. And I'm telling you, I feel offended. There's no one around. There's people sitting right there. I don't know them. But they're not going to be able to hear me talking. If I'm talking it's not a place to conduct business, sir. It's not a place to conduct business. Out here in your driveway is not a place to conduct business. What's up, bro? I'm at the dealership trying to service with this truck. Let me call you right back, bro. I got you. I'll call you in a minute. So, like I said, okay, this so is not a play, sir. One second. How quick uh, would we be able to get this together? Get this diagnosed? Okay, that's good. Okay. Sunroof. Onstar. Probably issues. just in pain. This is just a waiter. Minimum this afternoon. You want to leave? We're good. I'm, I told, like I told them, I have some work to do on my laptop. Right. I'm gonna sit in your lobby while my truck get. I don't have anything else to do but to get my service done on my vehicle okay. because I'm this is my business. Yeah. Say afternoon. Yeah. Okay. You wanna come back after lunch? I said I'll, I'll wait here. You have a lobby, right? I can do my work there, right? I don't have no power to wait. I said that earlier. I'm not in I no rush. I know that if you wanted to go to lunch or something, you can I have watch. nothing else to do, sir, okay. but to get my vehicle service. The weekend's been longer, and it's Monday. It's starting to be even longer. So the first step now that I've got my truck back yep. is to get my system going. And so if it happens again, they'll locate my truck again. Yes. Got a $105,000 investment. This is a hot country. Yes. Sir. This ain't the little one. Yes. You got what I'm saying? It's talking. the big boy truck. And when you invest in something, you want to make sure it's good, which is the reason why first thing Monday, when y'all open, 
Yes, I'm at the dealership. Mm -hmm. Where I come from don't matter. It's where I'm trying to get to. Okay. I'm here at your dealership. Yes. I know you like money. I see. You got a lot of money on right now. Right? Like money. So if you can't do nothing else, I need you to diagnose my system. We can do those things. If you can't do nothing else. It's going to be after lunch. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. So you can't get to me till after 12. Okay. So you can't get to me till it's after probably 12. probably going to be after 1. Okay, that's cool. Well, um, I wanted a price on the tires. Okay. If, if y'all had them. Um, if, they, if we have them. If you have them. I want to know the ones that you do have in stock. Right. I want to know the tires that you do have in stock. Absolutely. And I want to know the prices on them. I want to know if they're all terrain or not. I want to. So is, is, the, is the sunroof a diagnosis as well? To figure out. That's a, is that a diagnosis? It's off track. So generally speaking, anytime you have concern, that's what you call that. Right? Okay, so you concern. Got concern. All right. You got different concerns. So, right. you know, it depends on what's involved in him figuring out what that is. You know, if he looks at it, it takes him two seconds, he's not going to charge you another 168. He, he got to take the center or the headliner down a little bit. And it could incur 168. So, well, see, this is my thing, right? I know how much money I'm working with. Right. So I don't need no maybes and could charge you and could not sure. charge you. So I want to be definite. I mean, on if you want to be definitive, if that's I, would, I would be prepared yes. for 116 okay. for that. 116 so this is what I want, for the on-star right? issue. Give me the diagnostic on my tracking GPS system. Okay. And give me a price on my tire. Okay. And give me a price on my windshield. Don't worry about the sun. We don't do glass. We, okay, we sure. sub it out. So, that's, 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 that's so what perfect. else is not working? Just mention some fuses. So, what kind of things have you not noticed not working in the so, truck? So, as I mentioned to you, they ripped the orange star out. Right. Whatever that means, the device. Okay. There's a few fuses missing on this side of the dashboard right here. There's a few fuses missing on the other one. And it say no GPS on my dashboard. It's a red sign on it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. A red sign and say no GPS. And then my SD card is missing. Okay. Because so right now, GPS is ripped out. Not the GPS, yeah, it say GPS. Right. But it's the on side. Okay. Because it's not trackable at the moment. Radio and all that seems to be working. Everything okay. is working perfect. Okay. Do you have, listen, Sirius, is any of that working? Sirius XM? I don't, I don't, I don't, I never use that. Okay. So. Okay. Any other messages coming on on the dash besides the no GPS message? No. Okay. And that's All the these things up. are pertinent to let the tech know to get him to figure out. So what we got they fuses on this side, fuses on that side. Right. Make sure all my fuses is there. My SD card is missing, and the GPS light, the GPS signal is on. Okay. So they ripped out the orange stars. What they did. Okay. That's it. So that's all I got right, all right. now. Get your process and tires. And now I don't know nobody else to go to but the dealership where I got my truck from, which I always go to. Because that's why I don't deal with people on the side. I come to Chevy, which is Makes why I'm sense. telling you. It's a $105,000 vehicle. And I also know that they don't have many of these out. Because I waited to get this for six months. The person. So I only go to Chevy, whichever state and city I'm in for whatever reason that that may be, which is my business. You got me what I'm saying? You're correct. So. With that being said, I just need a diagnostic and a price on some tires that we'll y'all haven't stopped. We'll so, you she don't, so you say she's gonna get to yeah. me after 12? So she's gonna get it in, it in now. now and okay. as, soon, as quickly as we can, we get there. Okay, But cool. it's more than likely gonna be after one. After one. Yeah. Okay, cool. you in front of me, the guy I want to work so, on. So, 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 once again, I'm gonna take my laptop and I'm gonna go in your office. I mean, not office, I'm gonna go in your lounge. And I'm going to sit because yeah. I don't have anything else to do but okay. to get my truck diagnosed. Gotcha. Thank you, sir. And no my problem. key is right here. Right. And to be honest with you, I don't know what the hell they use to start my truck up. So yeah. I don't know if this key or, or the system has been. I don't know what the, they did. Right. This one does work. This one does work. On you. That's the one I had on me. I don't know what they use, what kind of key they use or whatever. I guess as long as my work and y'all gonna diagnose the system. So I don't know. 
That's okay. that's way out of my knowledge, right. which is the reason why I'm here. Right. I don't know what they do. You have another key? I do have another key. It's at home. At home. Okay. So so it's out of the picture. Not a problem that, that they got that. No, they don't got my other key. What, what I'm saying. They is had their own. It's device. not a problem that that they would have gotten another key. So. Or whatever they use. I don't know what they use. Right. More than likely they would have cloned to this somehow. Yeah, they couldn't have cloned to mine. It wasn't mine that they cloned to. Okay. All right. In the diagnostics, if we get to the point to where we look at the keys and there's more than your two programmed in there. Correct. We're going to need to erase all of it and start over. Okay, so that'll be so that someone that was not able to do this event. Right. Cool. That's what I'm asking you to do. And the one that you have at home would then be disabled. Cool. Okay. But that's why I'm getting a diagnostic because then right. you come to me and say, hey, yeah. this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is Absolutely. wrong. Where do you want to start? Right. That's what the diagnostic is for. Right. But that's what I want to do. Make sure that, that you're aware that possibly. Yes, that sir. Not okay. So okay. after the diagnostic. Then I just decide what I want to do, when I want to do it, and how I want to do it. Absolutely. But I'm here for a diagnostic and a price on my tires. Take care. That's what I want. All right. Thank you, buddy. All right. All right. So look, people, man. Uh, dealership gum. I done left the dealership. Um, as you see, man, it's been a rough, long weekend. Already, I done been stripped of my belongings. And then I got to go to the dealership to try to get my truck back right. Now they asking me all of these weird questions about why am I coming to this dealership? Why do my plates say Illinois? It happened in Dallas, but I didn't win the town or two over to come here. First of all, what are you talking about? You think I trust anybody in Dallas with my truck? This The, the dually now that became like the box Chevy. I can't even take the dually when I go out on a date or I'm going downtown to kick it. It's different. I can't even tell. I used to think, I swear I used to be like, I'm free in the dually. I ain't tripping on the dually. Ain't nobody finna take no dually. The dually worse than having that box Chevy of that color so now. But I don't gotta explain that to him. You feel me? Uh, It's just, man, bro, like, it's just like after a long weekend of going through all of that with my truck, trying to get my truck back, this and that, that and this. And now here go this fool talking about, uh, Oh man, bro. Um, uh, just all the stupid stuff he was just saying, bro, about why am I coming to this shop, this and that, who am I, where do I live? But bro, if you take my truck and you check my truck in, all my information is gonna pop up. So that's the part that I do not understand. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man, it's just like, whatever, bro. Um, I just don't got time for that right now, dog. You know what I'm saying? Nigga trying to stay positive, stay sane at the same time that, you know, so much going on, dog. You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of hard to talk about it on my channel. But one thing about YouTube, as I told y'all before, y'all done became more than just subscribers. Y'all like my family with me now. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm going to stay tuned and and, and I'm gonna have more surprises coming here pretty soon. You know what I'm saying? All right, let me finish up this vlog. I'm gonna call you right back. So, you know, with that being said, uh, just no complaining, dog. I'm just gonna keep going forward. Uh, they, they, they finally told me what's going on with my truck. What, what they messed up and what they snatched out and how much it's gonna cost to get fixed. They actually told me what's going on with that. So, you know what I'm saying? I finally got that out the way. Um, like I say, man, this new, this new world, they rough, dog. They, they rough. They rough, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I gotta take the good with the bad. Like every day, I'm, I think I got one thing done and done and out the way and, 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 and there we go again. Like, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we right back at it. So life ain't gonna never be perfect.
I want everybody out there that's watching this to understand life is not going to be perfect, dog. You'll never just have a million dollars with no problems, never. So let me say something to you. Apply pressure. I don't care if you got $4 in your pocket, my nigga, and you got your car done. Enjoy that car because it ain't, you might not, like, it's, it's just never going to be perfect on all ends. So you got to take your situations and you got to make the best of them. That's just like me right now. You know what I'm saying? I got to take my situations and I got to make the best of them. I still got other uh, the four wheeler, I got other cars to enjoy, you know, I just got to take my situation and I got to make the best of it. And that's every time, cause it'll never be perfect. So I want everybody else out there to understand the same ordeal. Take your situation and make the best of it, dog. So, um, cause as you see, man, I'm, I'm, I'm going through it left and right, but you know, as, 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 as my story unfolds, I hear a lot of more people like, man, you know what I'm saying? Um, just telling me what they going through and I'm not the only one going through some stuff. So, um, for people that's out there, that's going through some things, a lot of more people just going through the same thing. They just handling it differently. Some people don't vent about it. Some people don't talk about it. So, uh, it's a saying, right? And the saying says, someone took that same situation you complaining about and made it happen. I think that's the saying, made it happen. Someone's in some situation that you was crying about and did it without complaining or something like that. It's, saying. it's, it's a real powerful saying, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, man, we all go through it. Life is about rocky roads and hills and it's never going to be perfect. So when you get that concept of life figured out that it's never going to be perfect, it's always going to be rocky. It's kind of like basketball. They didn't teach you to just play basketball. They teach you to do multiple things at once in basketball. Like when you was doing drills. And you was running between the cones, getting your feet game right. You had to bounce the ball while doing it. Well, that's kind of like how life going for me right now. As me moving out of, t moving out, moving away from home, trying to get a business set up. Look, I just went to court. I caught a ticket on the way to court. I mean, on the way to school. I had to go to school. I mean, when I was, I had to go to court. I caught a ticket on the way to school. Like it's part of the game. Like on the way to get my CDL ticket. That's right. I caught a speeding ticket. So even while I'm trying to do good. So with that being said, you just got to know how to play. Yeah, I can go get court supervision, all that. But it's just like, as I'm trying to do stuff, you got to know how to juggle. And I ain't going to lie, life been, life been juggling with your boy lately. You feel me? A lot of stuff been happening while I'm trying to do a lot of stuff. So uh, I just been taking the good with it and moving on and rocking and rolling. So I, I suggest y'all do the same out there, man. Uh, I'm going to keep taking y'all along my journey, good and bad. Hopefully, it's motivational to y'all for motivational purposes only. And um, I'm just going to keep on rocking and rolling, dog. I ain't going to never give up. I'm going to keep being sugar man on that nigga when I'm up, nigga, when I'm down, nigga, when it's good, nigga, when it's bad, nigga. I'm going to keep that same energy because my people watching and rocking and rolling. So Y'all hit the comments, man. Let me know if y'all rocking with me. Talking that Yang Boy 1 is currently out. What you bumping on that gent? Feel me? And it's like that. Y'all tap back in with me, man. And uh, I'll catch y'all in the next video. You heard me? Gang. Every day they can't ride my way. Filling up the safe, they can't ride my way. Twenty dollars for the T, two hundred for my J. But that jewelry on my T, it cost me sixty K. Two day run on the road, it felt like sixty days. Soon as I got off that bitch, we ran up sixty blades. Instantly the price just drop my chin, you know what's up with me. Hating niggas trying to shop, you know you don't fuck with me. Pull up, I take up two spot. That's us in front the club. We how you not you trash? That's worth the bubba dub. I know, I know, I know they don't like me. I'm gon' keep on put it in they face. I know they don't like me. I'm gon' keep on put it in they. F I know they don't like me. I'm gon' keep on put it in they face. I got houses everywhere. Can't no bitch put me in my place. LV on me, GG on me, DD on me, ABC. Four G's on the candy on it. I love. Sugar man.
Long overdue, nigga. It's yours truly, the big homie, Bebe. Tapping all the way in. We talking that yank, Nick. Jalette, Illinois, to the motherfucking world. Yeah. Now one bike life. Chicago was popping, nigga. Let's get it. A lot of y'all been hitting me up on know how I've been doing lately. Hey, sugar man. We going down through that, nigga. Don't play with this shit. Don't play with this shit. Don't play with him, nigga. Big box Chevy rider, nigga. Skrrr! Oh! A lot of y'all been hitting me up on it. Know how I've been doing lately. I've been doing great crab legs. The steak's still on my plate. Don't need your love.